I really like candy and chocolate. So as you can see, I've already kind of dug into these. Hey guys, it's Bella and today I'm going to be doing my Christmas haul or like what I got for Christmas 2013. So I don't want to make this introduction too long, but I'm just going to give you a disclaimer or my little speech that I'm not trying to brag by showing you my gifts. I'm simply just showing you what the, I got. I find these videos very fun to watch personally. Um, and if you think I'm trying to brag and if you're going to leave like hate or something, just exit out now because it's not necessary and I'm trying to tell you that I'm not bragging. So I'm not going to go into it. So without further ado, let's get into what I got for Christmas this year. This will not really be in any particular order. I'm kind of just like grabbing from this pile. Some of the bigger things I'm going to save to the end, but in the beginning it's not going to really be in any particular order. So here we go. First thing I see is this little Gemini notebook. My mom gave this to me. Just, just saying, if I say my mom, I both mean both of my parents, but uh, my mom actually bought it. But it is from both my parents. It's this little Gemini notebook because I am a Gemini. And um... Just got a little note to the Geminis, a little pad of paper, it's very cute, and a little mint green-ish, emerald-ish pencil, and it's really cute. I know she, this was a thoughtful gift because she thought of me, um, so thank you, Mom. The next thing that I see is, um, I bought this for myself, it's a little calendar. So every Black Friday, um, this has been my, this is the second annual... Black Friday tradition is that I every year, but I don't always just do this on Black Friday, I've done this every single year, I go out and get myself a calendar because I used to have my parents buy me a calendar for Christmas every year. Um, and for the past few years, I've been getting one for myself, and these past two years, I've been going to Target on Black Friday and getting a $1 calendar. Um, last year, I got like animal eyes because they looked really cool. This year, cats little kittens and they're so adorable literally I'm dying so I'm really looking forward to this calendar and it was a dollar so next thing that I see uh, is some movies that I got and I bought these to the family but I'm gonna include them anyway the first one is 21 and over the great Gatsby 21 Jump Street warm bodies I'm very excited to watch all these movies I've already seen 21 Jump Street and I've seen Warm Bodies. They're just good movies and I haven't seen either of these. I know I haven't seen Great Gatsby. Whoa. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to owning those movies and it's going to be a lot of fun. Guys, some Vera Bradley stuff. I'm kind of transitioning out of Vera Bradley, but I still got a few things from my mom. She just picked them up. The first thing is this little thing called a create a card. It's basically a customizable card. It just makes card making a lot more easy than having to like buy a separate card for like thank you or happy birthday. You kind of can just cu customize these. And this is in Bali blue, so in case you were wondering. Um, and then she also got me these colorful bobby hairpins in Marina Paisley. I think they're really cute. I'll be interested to see when I end up wearing these, but they are adorable. The last thing in the same pattern, Marina Paisley, is a lanyard because I will be get my, getting my license in a short amount of time. Um, so my sister got a lanyard for when she started to drive, so I got a lanyard for when I start to drive. So that is exciting. Now I'm gonna move on to some clothes. So the first thing that I see, my mom picked me up this little Chicago White socks shirt because, I mean, I don't really watch baseball, but if I had to choose the Cubs over the Cubs or White Sox, I'd choose White Sox. Um, I don't really watch baseball anymore. I used to watch baseball a lot and I loved the White Sox. I don't really watch baseball anymore. But yeah, she got me a little v-neck for the white socks in case we have like a sports day at school and then she got me this red shirt for the orchestra that I'm in in my city um, but I'm not going to show it because it has the city on it and I mean it's soccer so uh, I don't know what that was but yeah it's nothing really um, next thing my older sister and she got me some the two clothing items the first one is this brown scarf it's so soft and keeps me so warm. I went to this 
to Chicago for a day and I wore this and literally was so thankful I had it. It's not a circle scarf, but that's perfectly okay because then you can kind of style it how you want. It's got like these ends, but it's so warm, so fuzzy. It's like chocolate brown and I absolutely love it. And then the other clothing item she got me was this brown sweater. This was from H&M. I think the scarf is from Forever 21. This is a sweater from H&M. It's black. And I really liked it when I saw it. And then I tried it on. It is so itchy. So I asked her for the gift receipt. She's going to give it to me. And I'm going to go to try to exchange it for a different kind of sweater. Because this one's really itchy. And friends, like gift exchange kind of thing that we did. And also some of these things I'm not going to include because I kind of forgot to get them and I don't want to get up because I just want to like film this. Um, so I'll just verbalize it to you. So I'll verbalize two things. My sister got me this really cool bracelet for this like fundraiser for women in Africa. So my sister's uh, godmother bought us these like trendy like socks. They're really cute but um, I don't want to get them so sorry. She said they were popular in New York over the summer. The next thing my from my friend through a gift exchange, it's in this little box, and it's so adorable. So it's this little, sorry if it's really loud, it's this little penguin. And inside the penguin is mixed to make sugar cookies. Um, and it's got a little cookie cutter, like gingerbread man, and it's so adorable. I cannot wait to make sugar cookies, and they're going to be delicious, and I'm very excited. So thank you for that. Other few things I got, there's a few in here, which is the box that it came in. And in here is quite a few things, um, because I just kind of combined what some of my friends got me. The first thing that my, one of my friends got me was so nice, and it is a mini Viva La Juicy and then a mini Viva La Juicy lotion. So it's the spray, I don't know what size this is, and the lotion, I think the lotion was is like 1.7 ounces. So I'm really excited for this. I've always wanted a Viva La Juicy, but never really convinced myself to buy it. So now I can try it. I wore this morning. It's very overwhelming, to be honest. A really strong scent, but I really like it, and I definitely recommend getting this. But I'm kind of glad it's just a mini, because I don't know if I'd want a full size of this. The next thing that was in here was a... Um, L'Oreal Paris Skin Expertise New Go 360 Clean Face Scrub. Basically, it's a face scrub. And I'm very excited for this because this face scrub by Neutrogena I was running out that looks exactly like this was running out. And I really liked having a deep scrub versus like my everyday face wash because I'd like once or twice a week do a scrub and that feels really nice for my skin. So thank you for that. Last thing in here that I've already dug into is some M&M's because I really like candy and chocolate so as you can see I've already kind of dug into these so oopsies but these are really good I love it we're gonna transition into some like hair care type thing and then beauty and then my big two items so the first hair care product is, this is what originally was on my list. Now Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. I tried a mini of this and loved it, so I asked my mom or my parents for a full size, and I got it. So I'm very excited for this, because I love it. Okay, I've got to speed through this, because my camera battery is dying. So, also, um, this Not Not Your Mother's Naughty to Nice Conditioning Detangler also works amazing. Um, this One Inch Curling Iron by Conair is, um teal and I'm still deciding whether I want to keep it because I already have a one inch curling iron. And then this TIGI bedhead straight up flat iron which is tapered at the end. I really like this how it works except there's no heat setting so like no low medium high and there's no clamp to keep it closed. So that's that. And also I got these slippers from Eddie Bauer. Yes they are men's slippers but they keep my feet so warm. I'm like so grateful for these slippers. They're absolutely amazing. Um, so yes, there's that. This is like one of my the things that excited me the most and this is some MAC makeup, MAC cosmetics. Um, the first thing that I got from there is this eyeshadow in Omega and this is more as brow powder because this works really well for girls who've got like almost like they've got dark brows but like blondish hair. And so this works really well as eyebrow powder. So I got that. 
The next thing that I got was the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and this works really well. I have it on today and I'm absolutely loving it. It's such a creamy consistency. Um, so that's that. Then I got a MAC Lip Liner in Brick. Um, I don't know if you've heard of this. It's This is to go along with MAC's Russian Red. And a lot of people do Cherry for the lip liner, but the lady convinced me to do Brick because I like how it looked a lot better. So Russian Red, Brick. And then another lipstick I got is modesty and this is a cream sheen i have it on today absolutely love it it's a very sophisticated look and then lastly from mac i got the mineralized skin finish and lots of people love this so i'm very excited to try it and the last thing before my camera dies is 